So hello guys, so I hope all of you are doing fine. This is Himanshu and today I am going to discuss about academic calendar for the upper university for freshers for the year 2021 and you might get a lot of info after seeing this video so make sure you see the video till end and I will be discussing about things like Froz Prime Week, about the classes, about the class schedule and about the exams, about the offline college as well and about all the queries that I got on my Instagram DMs and on the YouTube comments as well. So yeah, make sure you watch the video till end and you and this video will be helping you a lot if you are a fresher at Upper University for this year. So yeah, that's it. Now let's just start the video. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and also like the video if you found the content helpful. And yeah, we are near 2000 subscribers. So yeah, let's just reach the milestone soon. And, and yeah, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and yeah, let's just go to the calendar. So yeah guys, this is the curriculum that you might have got from the institute and I'll be discussing all the things. So first of all, let's talk about the orientation or week one. So you can just see that from September 27 to October 1, there is an orientation week or the frost week. So basically what happens in this week that you will get a lot of information about the institute, about the university, about all the things related to college. Like like you can just say all the information related to classes, schedule, sports, basically all the facilities of the college and basically all the placements and all other details as well. And they will also be discussing about various, you know, societies and clubs at the institute, all the opportunities that college provides and all the cells of the institute, for example, counseling and, and all the things related to that. And all the things will happen in this week. And there is also Frosh Proing Week. Basically, Frosh is a society of supper which organizes various events for freshers so that the students get to know about their college and about their classmates and peers as well. So basically it normally happens offline, but basically from last year it's happening online. So basically in online college, basically in online frost week, what they do is they will be, you know, so in online frost week, they will be organizing various events for you guys, like various light events and basically all the informative events as well. For example, they might, you know, host an event related to music, related to dance, and they will Many events will be for entertainment purposes and many events will be for, you know, information and other purposes. So yeah, that's it for the Frosh Prime Week and and they might also organize this week after you come to college, basically after Diwali. So you might also get to know about your peers there as well and there might be some events for and there might be some Frosh events during your offline college mode as well. So yeah, that was it for the Frosh Week and and one more thing that during this week you should have some basic idea of discord so basically discord is a app or you can just say a website so which has various features for example there is a feature for group video call group call so there is also a feature for group watch party so basically it, it is a communication and all the things so basically it's an app which is used for creating community so you can just do group chat and you can just do announcements and there are various servers basically you can just make your own server so basically societies like this Frosh also has a server on the discord so basically on which they do various announcements and all the competitions and quizzes on all that so basically you should have some idea about discord you can just download it from play store or app store and you can just explore it yourself some of you might already have the idea but some of you might not have the idea like i didn't have any idea about discord i came to know about discord after i came to college only so yeah, that was it for the Frosh week and about the orientation and make sure you attend most of them so some of you might and some of you were asking me that you have j advanced exam on october 3 so should you attend the frost prime week so it's totally your choice so so you can just attend the meetings whatever you find useful and basically if you are taking admission and you are sure that you are going to top university only so you can just attend without any worries I understand you might have J advanced exam and you have to you know do some preparation and some final practice for that also so you can just do that but it's totally your choice last year also we had our J advanced exam after our you know frost week basically after our classes as well and and many of the people had their bit set exam in between of frost week last year so but this year i think bit set is already done so you can just you know so you can just see whatever suits you so yeah that was it and Basically, it's not compulsory to attend, but you can just attend because you will be getting all the information regarding classes and regarding the institute. So I, so I recommend you should attend most of the, you know, meetings about these orientations. So that's it. That's your choice. And after orientation week, your classes will start. So you can just see that there are, I think, one, two, three, four weeks of online teaching. So 
this is far better than what we had last year last year we had i think classes till january so basically we had classes till january online classes only and and you can just see that they have given you the date of your offline teaching but last year we had no idea when the college would and we all used to just dream about college so yeah that's it so this is a better situation you are having right now this year so yeah you should you know appreciate that and you can just see that there will be online teaching for the four weeks and many of you were asking about the class schedule as well so basically it depends on your subgroup because so basically all branches and all subgroup don't have same timetables some are different and and timetable is different for all of them so basically some days you might have class at 8 am in the morning and you might have class till 1 o'clock only in the afternoon and on some days you might have class on 10 30 am in the morning and classes might go up to 6 pm so yeah, it's a variation and it depends a lot on and basically most probably you will not be having any class after 6 pm or before 8 am in the morning so that was the class schedule and and most probably you will be having your Saturdays and Sundays off. So there might not be any class in Sat on Saturday and Sunday. So you can just check that. And that was it for the online teaching. And the classes will be happening on Zoom only. Zoom software only. So you can just see that. And they might provide you a thapar.edu ID. Basically a thapar. Basically your college email ID, Google ID. So you have to join your classes using that ID only. They will be, you know, if they haven't given you till now, they will be giving very soon. The same thing they will be explaining in orientation as well. So you can just refer that as well. So that was it for online teaching. Then comes the Diwali break. I don't remember it was there last time or not. I think it was there. So yeah, that's it. You can just see that after your four weeks of classes, you will be having a Diwali break. There won't be any exams. You can just see. I don't know why they haven't included any exams because basically there are two exams there is a mst and there is a est mst means mid semester test and end semester test is est it's like term one and term two like you used to have in school and there are some and there are various other evaluations as well for example you have some sessional sessional is just a, an exam or you can just say quiz type exams and some lab evaluations which occur in between only but they haven't you know included any of those in this calendar they have just written about the ESTs or you can just see final exams which will be happening in January so yeah they might give information about other exams later on or they might not be having any exams for first year I don't know why but yeah that's it and you can just see that there are two transition days so transition days means that your transition from home to college so you will be getting two days to come to college from your home and basically all the registration process of hostels and all those you would be having in these transition days only and most of you might be having this confusion what hostel you might get so basically they will be calling first and second years this time when you are called so basically they will call you and they will call us also we are in second year so both of us will be called at the same time so basically it just depends what hostel you might get was but most probably you will be getting better hostels compared to what people used to get before the pandemic so for boys, I think you might be getting Hostel K, L, Hostel O maybe and Hostel M as well, Hostel FRD, it just depends. And for girls, I think you might be getting Hostel N. Girls might also get Hostel FRD as well and basically girls might also get Hostel PG but most probably you won't be getting older hostels like Hostel A, B, C and yeah, these hostels are just, you know, buildings now, no one lives there but you might not get these hostels and you might get new hostels only so so you will be getting better hostels only regarding the hostel fees so so they might charge around i think 30000 rupees for 3 months how many months you are staying at campus so i think there is a period of 2 to 3 months only for offline campus according to this calendar so so they might charge you around rupees 30000 so they might charge you around 30,000 rupees for two months or basically maybe for three months for hostel. This also includes the mess charges. So 30,000 may be the price for mess plus hostel charges for two to three months. So that was it. So what are these reading days? So basically before your exam or basically before your final or main exam, they will be giving you a week. So they will be giving you a week where there won't be any classes. So it's basically a holiday before exam. So you will be getting a reading week. So you will be getting a week where you won't be having any classes and you can just study for your exams freely. And yeah, that's it. And, and they've also written that one extra lecture for each course will be there for weeks 7 to 15. 
so basically this might be for the completion of syllabus so it just depends and so yeah that was it for all the information so so that was it for the video i think you got some insights for regarding your orientation and basically your online classes or offline classes so i hope you got some insights and this video was useful for you if you are coming to the Harvard university this year as a fresher and first of all i would like to welcome everyone and i think we'll be coming together only so yeah most probably we'll be meeting there as well so till then you can just you know prepare for your college and you can just enjoy somewhat and and we'll be learning a lot in this college life basically college period so i I just suggest that explore as much as you can in your first year because after first year you won't be getting much time to explore so yeah that's it for the video and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much so if you have any other query you can just freely contact me on instagram and twitter as well all the links are there in description you can just follow me there and just send your dm there and you can just also comment down your queries in the comment section below i'll try to reply to most of the relevant queries and yeah that's it and make sure you subscribe the channel and also like the video we are 92,000 subscribers and yeah that's it i'll see you in the next video thank you very much